back to my channel. It is Caitlin here and today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I am going out tonight however I don't want to make my makeup too extreme and heavy. I just want to go for like something summery but still fairly full coverage and glowy so this is what I've ended up with. I hope you enjoy. Please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, comment if you've got any questions and I'll get on into the tutorial. Let's go. So first of all, I'm just going to start off by putting some moisturiser on my face. This one is the Body Shop Vitamin E Moisture Cream and it's a gel one. I really like gel style moisturisers because they absorb into your skin really quickly. And this one smells like perfume. It smells amazing. I might keep this video all drugstore but I haven't decided yet because I haven't decided everything that I'm using. I'm going to try to do all drugstore as much as I can. This is the Prism Strobe Cream in the Flash shade from MUA. So very affordable, very easily accessible. I'm just gonna pop this. I'm just gonna put this all over my face because this smells good as well. So this will give me a little bit of a glow underneath my foundation. Um, maybe that was a wee bit extreme, but whatever. Right, moving on to foundation. Currently, I don't actually have one foundation which I like which is a problem. I have like mix and match of foundation. Nothing's my colour, nothing's what I'm looking for exactly. So I just mix everything and it's not probably the best idea, but that's what I'm working with right now. So I think I'm gonna use a combination of these three foundations. So this one is the L'Oreal True Match in the shade Golden Beige, which is pretty much my colour, maybe a little bit too dark. Then I'm gonna be using the Body Shop Matte Clay Skin Clarifying Foundation, which is way too light for me. And then I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible um, Thick Foundation, which is ah, which is too dark for me. So it's just kind of a mix and match, and I'll buy myself some new foundation eventually, but right now it's a DIY job. So first of all, taking the L'Oreal Thick, as you can see that's like not my colour. Um, this is in the shade 190. I'm gonna put this more as like a mini contour. Obviously I'll go over with some bronzer, but like this is gonna go in my slightly darker areas for the time being. And then going in with the Body Shop one, I'm just gonna pop this like underneath my eyes. Like so, does this make sense? This Beauty Blender is from Brushworks and it is really good, but I think it's just because I absolutely love, you know when you first use your beauty blender, like when you get a new beauty blender, it's the best thing ever. They do the most amazing job compared to your last one, because the last one was just gross, you know? So I'm just gonna blend this in, in some sort of fashion. Moving on to concealer, I'm gonna be using two of my favorite concealers. They're both the same brand, they're just in different shades. Shades, this one's gonna go underneath my eyes, which is the shade Shell, and this one, the shade Fawn, is gonna go kind of in like my spots and my chin and those kind of areas. I'm keeping it a little bit lighter for underneath my eyes, which is what I like to do. These are honestly my favorite concealers. These are better than some of my high-end concealers. I love it so much and it's kind of running out. It's making me feel sad. And just blending this out with the same beauty blender. Okay, right, for powder, I'm going to use a super cheap powder, but it's still good and I still really like it. This is the Banana Dreams Powder by W7. It's a loose powder, which is what I like to use when I want my skin to actually look... Whoa, there's a lot in here. Um, I like using loose powders when I want my skin to look a little bit more flawless because... I don't know, loose powders, you just get more product on there, you just get a better finish, it just... It just works better in my opinion. So I'm not gonna like bake because that's too much effort. I'm just gonna get my brush and kind of like tap it off. Whoa. Extreme. Now for bronzer, I'm gonna be using um, one of my Makeup Geek bronzers. I'm gonna be using this one in the middle, which is the shade Bad Habit. The brush I always use is the M. 530 brush from Makeup, no, from from Morphe. I really, really like this brush. 
I really like this powder because it gives you a really strong contour, but when you put it on it looks quite heavy. But you can blend out so easily and eventually get like exactly what you're looking for. I don't know what this looks like on camera, it might look a bit extreme, but in person it's what I want, so don't complain. Since we're doing contour and bronzer and all that kind of thing, I'm just going to go and do some bronzer around my chest. Um, I do this in the summer because I've got a natural tan at the moment. This part of my chest does not tan, I swear. It takes so long to tan, so I just get a bit of bronzer, I get a big powder brush and I just pop this like on my chest area to kind of even it out. I'm also just going to grab a really small brush and with the same bronzer, this is the Lottie Tan Time Bronzer in the shade Light Medium, it looks like this. Um, I'm just going to use a small brush here and use this for my nose as well. Um, whilst we're at it. I don't really do extreme nose contour but I like to put something there just because it makes me feel like I've, I've tried. Right for highlight today gonna go with an MUA Luxe product which is really good. This is the highlighting powder in the shade gold. It's one of the ones you know that you do the wee twist with and then you get all the like product in here. It's a little bit messy I do have to say but I love the colour of this, it's super gold and I'm just feeling like being quite extra today. So I'm going to just grab some of this on my Morphe M501 and just pop this on like extra, extra. Well, yeah, like, yeah. For my eyes today I want to go really warm, I want things to be really nice and glowy and summery even though it's really stormy outside right now. But I want to go really nice and warm so the palette I'm going to use is this little palette here. We're sticking with a lot of MUA products today but it's cheap and it's really good so I'm not going to complain. This is the 15 shades palette from MUA in the shade or the version um, Fire Vixen and they have such cool shades in here and they're really nice and warm. This is like exactly what I want today. So I'm going to just take the first shade here at the top, the neutral shade and just put this all over my eye to get like a little base going so that my eyes are nice and ready to get some colour on them. So I'm just using like this big brush which I absolutely love. This is by Blank Canvas, it's the F, um, it's the F11 brush and it's muffy. Then I'm going to use this shade here mixed with this shade here, can you see that? Like these kind of middle two transition shades going to use them as transition shades. So starting with the slightly lighter one, I'm just going to go kind of crazy with this and just pop this back and forward in my crease. Don't need to be too worried about this shade because it's so light, it's just it's just easy, you just pop it anywhere you want. Um, and I'm going to take this pretty close into the centre of my eye because I want this to be like an all over warm thing going on. Right, then I'm just taking now the slightly darker one which I pointed out and going pretty much just exactly over what we just did. So again, windowy, wipery, back and forward strokes along the crease area, pretty close into the centre of my eye as well and blending that all out with like a really fluffy brush, um, like so. Then with the same brush actually which we used to do our nose contour, I'm going to take those two shades and put these underneath my eyes, run them underneath so I've got a really like smoky blown out look with these transition shades. So firstly this slightly lighter transition shade, going in with that and really just going in with like no exact precision because it doesn't matter. And then with this brush here, with the slightly darker transition shade, I'm just using this one because it's a little bit more precise. I don't want to be too heavy handed with this one because obviously it's slightly darker. Okay, just coming a bit closer so you guys can see what I'm doing because I realised it was quite far away. Um, I'm now going to take, so we've just used these two middle ones for transition. I'm now going to go in with kind of like this one here, yeah, like this one here and make it just a little bit darker. I might actually mix it like with these two. So it still stays really warm and like ready tones um, 
and the brush I'm using is just like a little bit more precise this time so that I don't go like too extreme. So just blending this into the outer part of my crease area like so. Nothing like too heavy because I really don't want this look to be that heavy. I want it just to be nice and like red and summery. So blending that in on the other side as well. I'm now just going to quickly take some of this shade here, this lighter shade, pop this very much on my lid to try and keep that quite light because I have blended down quite a lot um, those transition shades. So I just want to kind of lighten up my actual lid a little bit. Right, for eyebrows, which we need to do obviously, I'm going to be using the Revlon Brow Fantasy. This is my favourite brow pencil, I think just because of the colour and it matches me quite well and I like using it with the double side. So I'm just going to use this to fill my eyebrows. Firstly, I'm just going to line the bottom part, this is just how I do my eyebrows. So I line the lower part first, all the way around to the arch, and then flick. And then I fill the upper part in, like I line the upper part um, from about here. Do you see that? From like here onwards, I leave the top um, of the inner corner free, if that makes any sense. So just putting, so just drawing in the outline of the upper. And then just filling in the tail slightly and then brushing through very, very lightly this inner corner so it's not too heavy. For brow gel I'm going to be using this one by Ico. Is Ico a high-end product? I don't really know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to be using this anyway. Sorry if this is not high-end. I mean I'm sorry if this is not drugstore but I'm going to use this. I particularly like using this just in the centre of my eyebrow because it keeps that bit in place. Also tints the eyelashes. Eyelashes? Also it tints the inner part which I didn't draw in with a pencil so it kind of just fills in the gaps which I missed and then blending that round. I really like this brow gel. It's got a really nice colour to it, which matches my eyebrows nicely. So now to finish off this section of my eyes, I'm just going to be taking the Lottie AM to PM liner. This is the one in the shade like Sunburst, so it's well used. Um, it's like a really nice golden colour, so I'm just going to put this on my lower lash line. Um, it's like, it's not as extreme as using white, but it just really works with this eye look makes your eyes look super pretty and shimmery and I definitely need to sharpen this ASAP. For mascara I'm just going to continue on and use this one which is the Last Lash Sensational Mascara by Maybelline and then I'm going to do eyelashes which I'll choose and decide in a minute. You guys will see why I use. I'll show you guys, don't worry. Um, and then I'll be back after eyelashes for lips. Blah blah mascara. These are my favourite eyelashes I've ever, ever found. They're like amazing. They're so good. They're so cheap. They are the 43 Lashes by Red Cherry. Can you see the focus? Don't know. Anyway, this is what they look like here. Basically, to just finish off um, this makeup look, I'm going to take my favourite lipstick right now. Honestly, I thought I lost it about two days ago and I was so upset, but I found it. This is Dead Lips. Is it Dead Lips? Yeah, Dead Lips, which is 210. It's from their matte lip paint range and I love it so much. It dries so nicely on your lips without being really drying. It just feels like there's nothing there. So I'm just going to use this to finish off and hit it on my lips. So I've just like lightly curled my hair. It's a wee bit of a wee bit of my hair. And then just to finish off, I'm just going to take this gloss Finishing spray by Paul Smith and run this through my hair to kind of hold the curls slightly and also make my hair a little bit more shinier. So guys, this is my finished look for this evening. It's pretty natural but still really glowy and summery because I've gone for kind of warmer shades. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please leave a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe as well and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys!